Today, we're talking about the balance from 1,000 pound capacity, multi-purpose adjustable Smith rack squat rack with dip bars, a pull-up bar, and safety catches with the T-bar row platform available for $534.32 with free shipping on walmart.com. <laughs> All right, let's talk about it. But before we do that, let's talk about Redcon One. This, in my opinion, is the best supplement company out there. They combine a good price with good products. All their products have efficacious doses and their apparel is soft and makes me look jacked. So if you guys would like to buy from Redcon One, use the link in the description box below. Use the code SECRET50 to get 50% off your entire purchase. As long as that code is available, I'm not sure when it's gonna go away. But even if it does, you can still use my code T20TexasFlex at checkout to make sure you save at least 20%. All right, let's get back to the Smith Machine. Okay, so today we're gonna to talk about the Balance From Smith Machine. It has a bigger name that I kind of spoofed on there in the beginning on the website, but that's essentially what it is. So what is a Smith Machine? A Smith Machine in layman terms, or you know my terms, because I'm not that smart, is just a bar that's stuck on a machine so that you can go up and down without having to worry about stabilization or any of that crazy stuff that might take you out of hypertrophy. So in my opinion, it's a very good machine for people who already have the movements down and are just trying to focus on building bigger muscles. With that being said, I understand why some people might not like it. I myself came from Planet Fitness where they had nothing but Smith machines. I heard that Smith machines were for wussies. And that's not an exaggeration. I believe that is the exact terminology that was used and kind of kept me away from Smith machines for a long time. With that being said, I now realize that that is just something people say when they don't understand the benefits of certain machinery, especially when it comes to machines as a whole. There's a whole camp out there that don't believe in using machines or even having newbies get on machines because the level of carryover just isn't as big as with compound movements. And that I totally understand, especially if you're just a 100% athlete and you're just looking to play some sports. This doesn't really have a whole lot of purpose for you. But for anybody else who's just trying to focus on the tension created on the muscle group and therefore bigger muscles, uh, yeah, this is a pretty good machine and I highly recommend it. So let's talk about this one in particular. It does come with a couple of great features. It has a pull-up bar, safety catches, we'll get into that later, four weight plate holders, two barbell holders, a set of dip bars, band pegs, and a little loop to anchor your cable system or TRX, and a landmine attachment. The Smith machine itself, so the 25 pound bar with a 700 pound capacity, one of the biggest benefits to a Smith machine is that in the middle of a rep, let's say you're close to failure and you don't want to actually go to failure or you're afraid of falling or getting hurt, you can just re-rack the machine at any time. Now, why would you want to buy this one in particular as opposed to like the Weider Smith machine or the Marcy Smith machine? or you know, the Nautilus Smith machine, all of those Smith machines that are within like a $700,000 budget. I've had all of those, so I can tell you straight off the bat that they kind of suck. The stability of all of those is pretty similar to this one, and I know this isn't really the shot to do this in, and you might see it even in some of the B-roll action, but you can see it's, it's not like 100%. And yeah, you can add the weights on the weight plate holders and hold it down a little bit better, but the fact that this doesn't have anything to attach to, it's just two posts with some guide rods, doesn't give it the best stability or like, it, it moves and it's gonna move. And that's exactly the problem that the Weeder and Nautilus and Marcy machines have themselves. And they have back posts, so they don't even really have that excuse. But that's, my, that's been my experience with those machines. They do also have this functional trainer or cable system attached to most of those that this one does not have, but it's a one-to-one -one pulley. So if you're looking to do cable flies, that's not gonna be one of your options. Lat pull downs are also gonna feel weird uh, and the pec deck is mostly useless. So if you're looking for those things to kind of be the reason to get one of those, I would still suggest this one 
saves you a little bit of money. Yeah, you don't get a cable system, but you can probably just buy a $30, $40, whatever they cost these days, cable system to put on here, and it'd be just about the same. You can do so much with the Smith machine. You can do unilateral movements, you can do lower body, upper body, isolation, uh, compound, isometrics, whatever it happens to be that you have in store for your workout, this can probably aid or at least create some kind of variation for your exercises. Now, here's the big secret, okay? On the Weeder machine and the Marcy machine, you don't get to change out the bar. The bar that comes with the machine is the bar that stays on the machine. You could, in theory, find some MacGyver way to you know, replace the bar, but this one is super cut and dry. All you do is take off the collars and this bar comes out and then you can replace it with whatever bar you can take the collars off of, which is just about every barbell. So it's not a big issue. It is a little bit of a hassle, but for the most part, if you say you didn't like this 25 pound no name barbell, that's honestly a piece of crap, you could replace it with your favorite barbell or just a spare that you have laying around. Now, this barbell has very passive knurling, but it's there. There's just enough texture to keep your hands on. It does have a center knurl and it weighs about 25 pounds. So it's gonna do the job. I think the sleeves are about 15 inches, so there's not a lot of loading capacity, but again, the barbell can only hold about 700 pounds. The machine itself is very, very smooth. It doesn't even need oil. It's gonna go up and down. It's, easily as an actual barbell. It's just gonna keep the bar stable as opposed to a free weight barbell. Now, can the machine actually hold a thousand pounds? We're not gonna test it today, but it is a little wonky and I'm not sure you would wanna load it with a thousand pounds. Again, most of the time these manufacturers put something a little bit less than what it can actually hold so that that way they're saving their assets. And so now that we've talked about the pro of switching the barbell out, and possibly even using a better barbell for the Smith machine, which honestly doesn't matter all that much, but I would say that's probably the biggest pro outside of the hypertrophy effects that you would have on your compound or isolation movements. The con is that none of the attachments have UHMW, so the machine itself is gonna look like crap after a little while, and the barbell you happen to use, if you use these attachments, well, it's not gonna hold up as good as it would if the attachments had UHMW. And that is the end of the video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video if you like this type of content, comment down below what you like the most about this Smith machine, and I will see you guys in the next flex.